giant cell tumors GCT, of the bone are benign but locally aggressive tumors that often necessitate surgical intervention. The standard treatment aims to remove the tumor, reduce the risk of recurrence, and preserve limb function. Here's a detailed explanation of the surgical process involving curettage, extended curettage, filling the void with bone cement, and plate fixation. Preoperative planning. Before surgery, detailed imaging studies, including X-rays, CT scans, and MRI, are performed to assess the size, location, and extent of the tumor. Biopsy results confirm the diagnosis of GCT. The surgical plan is formulated to ensure complete tumor removal and structural stabilization of the bone. The surgery is performed under general anesthesia or spinal anesthesia. The patient is positioned to allow optimal access to the tibia, typically supine. Toniquet is often used to reduce blood loss and better visualization of cavity. A longitudinal incision is made over the affected area of the tibia. The goal of the surgery is to remove all visible tumor tissue within the bone cavity. A window is made in the affected bone which is enlarged to look like a door of a house. This will allow the surgeon to visualize the tumor properly. Curettage involves scraping the tumor out of the bone using a curette, a surgical instrument designed for this purpose. Extended curettage aims to reduce the risk of recurrence by using adjuvant treatments to eradicate microscopic residual tumor cells. A high-speed burr is used to further scrap and smooth the walls of the cavity. Substances like phenol, liquid nitrogen, or hydrogen peroxide may be applied to the cavity to kill any remaining tumor cells. Thermal adjuvants including cauterization is applied to destroy residual cells. After the extended curettage, the resulting bone cavity must be filled to provide structural stability. Polymethylmethacrylate PMMA, bone cement is used to fill the cavity. Bone cement not only fills the void but also generates heat as it sets, which further helps to destroy any remaining tumor cells, a process known as thermal necrosis. Case 2 of giant cell tumor of tibia. This patient's had pain and swelling around knee joint for few months duration. So the surgeon performed a radiograph of knee joint, which showed a well-defined osteolytic lesion. This was followed by MRI and the bone biopsy confirmed it as giant cell tumor of bone. Patient was planned for extended curettage surgery along with cementing and a plate fixation after proper informed consent. Surgical treatment of giant cell tumors of the tibia involving curettage, extended curettage, bone cement filling, and plate fixation. The aim is to remove the tumor, prevent recurrence, and maintain limb functionality and preserve patient's own joint. This can be compared to repairing of a house. A window and door are opened and the carpenter and his team performs all the repair work of house, preserving the entire home. This multi-step procedure is tailored to balance oncologic control with the preservation of the bone's structural integrity and the patient's quality of life. To ensure additional stability and support, particularly if the lesion was extensive or if the structural integrity of the bone is compromised, plate fixation is often employed. Plates and screws are used for stability. Metal plates are contoured to fit the shape of the tibia and secured with screws above and below the cavity. The plate is temporarily applied and cement is placed in the cavity. The plate is flipped and bone cement is placed in the cavity. This is followed by final fixation of plate. Fixation, this hardware helps in maintaining the alignment and stability of the tibia during the healing process and supports weight bearing activities. So the purpose of surgery is preserve patient's own joint similar to protecting the house from harsh weather. Thanks for your attention. We have tried to explain about management of giant cell tumor with extended curettage, cementing and plate fixation in a simple and easy way. By following these steps, the surgeon removes the tumor, fills the gap left behind, and supports the bone to help it heal properly. This reduces the risk of the tumor coming back and helps the patient recover with a stable and strong tibia. Please consult your doctor to know more about GCT of bone.